is a town where every storybook character you've ever known is trapped between two worlds, victims of a powerful curse. The evil queen sent everyone from the enchanted forest here. They don't remember who they are. One knows the truth. <laughs> Till someone breaks the spell. Ram! Ram! What are you gonna do to me? You're not mine. My pet. Take him to my bedchamber. I don't know what I'd do without you, Sydney. Beast is so harsh. I prefer Maleficent. I'm gonna need a smaller egg. Such a shame. So handsome. <laughs> You're a siren, and your deceitful words are a spell meant to lure me to my death. I would never hurt such a brave, powerful man like yourself. Not when there are so many other things. I am sick. That's an understatement. Have you ever been to Phuket? It's beautiful, amazing island, full of pleasures, the perfect place to lose oneself. That's where I was. Great program. I mean, obviously, I don't want 15 kids of my own. I mean, I mean not that I don't want kids. I do. I want kids, marriage, true love. I want it all. But that, of course, is... I need a ride. It's awfully cold out here. I'm fine, really. I can carry you back. Where are you headed? Dr. Whale? Hey, Margaret. Mmm, mm. mm, gosh, check out those guys. Oh, honey, I'm still with Sean. You're not married, and he's not here. He's working. He's always working. Have fun moping. <laughs> For one thing, you were late. For another thing, Liza, you dressed like a drag queen during Fleet Week. And you dress like Norman Bates when he dresses like Norman Bates' mother. Graham. I need some air. I need to think. Graham, please. Come back to bed. Don't leave. Since when do you want me to stay anyway? You're not well. I'm fine. I don't know what you think you're doing, but if you hurt my friend, I swear I'll make you regret it. Don't play stupid. We both know what happens when people try to leave Storybrooke. What are you talking about? The curse. The one keeping us all trapped. All except you. Open your eyes. Oh. I know you think otherwise. But I don't enjoy these Saturday city council meetings. <laughs> it's you. <sighs> Thank you. You, Emma, are by far the sexiest friendless orphan that I have ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife loves you so much that she bailed you out. And how do you repay that loyalty? You're on a date. Look, the cocoa was a nice gesture. And I am impressed that you guessed that I like cinnamon on my chocolate, because most people don't. But I am not here to flirt, so thank you. But no thank you. As we build our birdhouses, remember, what you're making is a home, not a cage. The bird is free and will do what it will. This is for them, not us. Oh, hey, wait, what are you doing? For mine. Dr. Whale. Are you serious? I know, it's a disaster. It's just one night stand. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have called him. I felt guilty.
No. I don't want an illusion. No. It's not you. Yes, it is. I love you. No. This is not real love. It's almost... Almost like the universe wanted you to find me. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I hope you didn't get the wrong idea. No. Put your hands where I can see him. Yeah, on uh, second thought, don't. I'm hiring Mr. Gold to help build a case against her. And you're ready? To be his mom? Yeah. A tie. You know you don't have to dress a woman as a man to give her authority. So you think you can get people to do what you want in that red coat? I'm getting you to do what I want right now. No, you can't take her! She's my baby! Don't take my baby! Nonsense. She's a fine, strong girl. She'll make a fine soldier. This session of the Storybrooke City Council will come to order. Uh, excuse me, um, Madam Mayor. She's not a queen anymore. Move out. Question is master or lover? Oh, master and lover. A kiss born of true love would do it. Oh, child, no. I would never suggest a young woman to kiss a man who held her captive. <laughs> what kind of message is that? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Hey. Sorry I'm late. 